in terms of fundraising for technology companies here in startups, uh, it's difficult because you're not in a technology hub. And uh, funding markets actually develop backwards. People think like, oh, I'm going to have angel investors and then Series A and Series B. But that's not how the market develops. The way the market develops is some company bootstraps its way to an IPO, creates a whole bunch of millionaire angels. Uh, then those angels, the smart ones, actually don't invest in seed stage companies. They actually invest in companies that are about to go public. And then those ones, then they form little firms and they invest in the ones that are just step before that, step before that. So you de-risk all the way back down to seed level. And when you see seed investing crop up in, in an area where there's no Series A or Series B or Series C market, then those companies run out of money very fast. Or you get brain drain where those companies, the winners get exported out and they go to Silicon Valley to raise money and they never come back. Um, the good news is that uh, Silicon Valley has gotten insanely expensive. And we've been saying that for a long time, but now it really is exp insanely expensive. Like, it might be twice the cost of Manhattan to run a company in Silicon Valley. So it's becoming much more accepted now for companies to raise money in Silicon Valley and then go back to their hometowns and spend it. Um, you still have the burden and challenge of standing out. Um, so uh, it might make sense to have a Silicon Valley or New York office with one founder or key executive there who can build relationships um, so, you can to the, so you can be part of the trust network in Silicon Valley, which is really what makes financing and capital work there, um, but then build a company here in terms of expansion. Uh, I think every large company in Silicon Valley and every venture investor is looking for the next place that has tech talent. Uh, and so to the extent that you have a strong university system, you have a digitally literate populace, you have young people coming up who are programming, and I hope older people who are programming, um, I think that's very, very attractive. Uh, so uh, in the Bay Area, it's now well accepted that, for example, University of Waterloo uh, in Canada stamps out all these amazing engineering students. Uh, Vancouver has become like a legitimate, acceptable hub to have startups uh, or have most of the operations of a startup. Same with Toronto. Um, there are a few of these kinds of places forming. Uh, and I don't, I, I don't see why Wellington can't be one of those. Mm. Right? I think it just uh, it takes a little bit of focus and effort, but I think Wellington is well within striking range of being a great place to build a startup, and you just funnel the money in from Silicon Valley.